to a nice Italian restaurant, takes an hour. No, the fastest chicken parm. Let's begin. Welcome back to But Faster, the series where we make your favorite foods as fast as humanly possible. Today, it's chicken parm. Open your eyes. You know, whenever I think about going to an Italian restaurant, it always seems like it takes so much longer. No disrespect to the Italians, I have a lot of love for you. But we're gonna be putting that to the absolute maximum test. We're gonna have someone order it, go and get it, bring it back, and we have to finish making a beautiful chicken parm before they arrive. Let's begin. Hello? Hello, can I place an order for pickup? Thank you for calling North Italian. How may I assist you? Uh, can I chicken parmesan? Ready in about 20 minutes, we'll see you at 1220. Thank you. It's like he booted up, he's like, oh, I'm at my job. Hello, welcome to the camera. We have a secret weapon. Shout out to the comment section. It's fast time. Recipe on the website. Um, woo! Touch of oil. Cut the garlic. This is the chicken parm recipe for my book. It's right over there. Beautifully saute. I did eliminate a couple of ingredients out of this because I wanted it to be faster. A little bit of salt. Wow, what else can we do while we're waiting? We can open the can. One of my uh, least favorite tools, a can opener. Red peppy flakes. Give those a light toasting. Sauce in. Pinch of sugi, a little more salt, peppy. Good lord. All right, a little towel. I don't have a lid. You think we're gonna beat them today? You know what? I don't think so. They told us 20 minutes. We're gonna get there in 15. So we have to wait five minutes. I feel like we're gonna have to wait longer. Sauce is simmering. A little stir. This simmers over here. Cast iron pan. Really, you can use any shallow pan. You can also use a deep pan. Put some oil in there. Wow, wow, wow. A lot of people are like, oh, Josh, you had this stuff already measured out. You know, that's not very fair. Uh, I'm sorry. Do you think the restaurant doesn't have everything measured out and their oil already going and everything already pre prepped and their chicken already breaded? I haven't even breaded my chicken. I'm just now heating up my oil. We're moving faster than time, okay? Think about that one. I don't want to get another cutting board, so this is my cutting board. Chicken! <laughs> Gonna open her up nice and good. This is broken. I'm just gonna pound it like this. You pound the chicken so it cooks faster. You get a wider piece of chicken. Boom, bam, bam. All right, we're gonna whisk this up. I like to add a splash of water. It just makes it less thick and it does the same damn thing. So breading station's good. It doesn't have to be pre-measured at all. So I'll put a little salt in the flour, a little bit of peppy. There's no reason to measure it. All it's doing is coating the chicken. Right now he's dipping the the chicken in the flour, and I hope he remembers the egg, because last time he didn't remember the egg. Chicken first in your flour nicely. Even though I'm in a hurry, guess what? I'm still gonna take the time to properly coat my chicken. Chicken's in the egg, coating nicely into the panko. Lovely. Chicken's coated. Now I can do more than one very easily. This would take not that much more time, but I'm just gonna do one. We're in a hurry, but we still clean up. It looks like it's either inside or next to a Whole Foods. Can't see the sign. I hope my food's done. So they're not even at the restaurant yet. We're actually almost done. So I'm just gonna make a second one. I'll use this broken one. I don't care. But am I scared of a broken chicken? The only thing I'm afraid of is a broken heart. Chicken's in the flour, in the panko. There's a new tossing method for you. You like that? Do you think this oil's hot, Vic? I can't tell. At this point, I'm just chilling. Where am I supposed to park, bro? I'm trying to beat Josh and I can't park. Not good at all. There's literally no parking. Landing spot, chicken, boom, bang, bop. Let's see if our sauce is ready. That looks nice. Do you wanna freaking eat that? <laughs> this is the part where I text Josh that we're here and he starts freaking out just a little bit more. They're at the restaurant. Well, I'm almost done. Wait, bit of salt. Should we just have a little fun with this? Ooh, yeah. I found some Genoa salami. I'm just gonna put this in there real quick. It is still good. Look, we're making a new recipe right now. Just throw it in there. That heat's gonna start to melt that salami fat. It's gonna contribute some of its saltiness, its spiciness. What about the time it takes to measure everything? At this point, I could have measured it and taken a poop. All right, sauce is done. Have to check the order. Don't want to repeat it, episode one. Oh Here it is, Scoochie. Time to head back. Ready to fry our chicken. What do you do when your oil's too hot? You just add a little splash of extra oil. Why? Because that lowers the overall temperature. Because this oil is a different temperature. Chicken, I'll do the thick one first. Lay him gently in. Oh, it looks like a little heart. <laughs> I'm just having a good old time. Are you guys having a good time? Yeah. All right, slice up some chives. Nice and thin. A little flip. Ooh, my lordy lord. Have you ever flipped this and you're like, oh, I could have gotten more color on that? You could just do this and guess what? It's gonna get the color. Culinary technique. Oh, Jesus. Literally all we have left to do is fry this, put it here, put the sauce on cheese oven. So we basically won this, but I'm also concerned about whether or not this is gonna cook in time. That, I'm at the mercy of this pan. I feel like he's done. I feel like we've been here forever. Escalators took long to go up. The parking was hard to find. The UPS guy was in the way. It's supposed to be quick and fast to pick up, and it's not! Pull this out. While we're waiting, we got our mozzarella. We got our mozzarella, the New Yorkers out there. Is that just like short or is that like how you think it's spelled? I'm gonna add a little bit of salt to this hot chicken. I got my elements, cheese, sauce, chicken. 
Ugh, please hurry. Had we just done one, I'd be done by now. I'm gonna do this all the way through. Okay, I'm committed. Flip it, beautiful. Every red light, every red light, every light's been red. I don't understand, I don't understand. Maybe it is a flat shirt. Maybe I overdid it. Maybe one upstairs is like, hey, you need to calm down, young man. I'm good, hopefully. Don't you love it when someone's like, oh yeah, it, we're fine, hopefully. All right, we're at 150 degrees internal temperature, please. Ways you can make chicken cook faster is just gently move it around the pan. Look at that. Oh, Jesus. Chicken down, a little bit of salt. I went the wrong way, so I just added two minutes. Are you conspiring against the fans? I'm with the fans. Shout out to the comment section. Tomato sauce, we've slightly modified with a little bit of salami in there. One mound of cheese. It's going in the oven, which I forgot to turn the broiler on. <laughs> it still has to finish in there. We missed the turn, but we're gonna get there faster now because we're on the freeway. So we're making up time for all the red lights. It's just working that way. It's the shirt. Okay, we're at the mercy of this. If this can get done in five minutes, then we will be all right. Is it even on? I think it turned off. Yep, it did turn off. Gonna help the broiler out a little bit. Yes, a little bit. We're so far ahead, I cannot have this not be a dub, okay? He's probably already just sitting there, a little smile on his face, ready for me to walk in. Like, yeah, I did it. Turned off again. Like, I can touch the glass. That is not good. At this point, I'll finish it my goddamn self. You know, we're not driving any faster. We're going speed limit, safety precautions, seat belt. So I've received word that they're two minutes away. Little do they know, I'm two seconds away. Yeah, good Lord. Have mercy. Chicken one, chicken two. We got two chickens here, but we're not done. A little bit of chive, done. I made twice as much as I thought that I was gonna make and twice the speed. They're still not here. Look at that, you like that, Vic? Yeah, the door's not locked today. Uh, you flash lost today, man. Sorry, bro. I know this isn't but better, but. Good lord. Time for the taste test. My turn first. Oof. Ah! This is a lot simpler than how I like my chicken parm, and yet it is still so good. And if you wanna crank it up, throw in a couple more things in the sauce, add more spice to the chicken, do whatever you want. Obviously the time factor can handle it. Good chicken parm, big dub, happy with it, but we need the real taste testing round. There we go. All right, so that's number one. Or sorry, that's number two, my apologies. Why don't we start with two? Do you have a problem with the number two? I recently have been having problems with number two. Number one. Choo choo! This is big bad boy. Number two here, number one here. In your mouth hole. Mmm. Kiss his neck. There you go. Ah. As per usual, not a butt better, but it was a butt faster. We won on every single front. It has everything you want in a chicken parm, more specifically done faster.